my wolf pack and welcome to another support guide video for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Today we're going to be talking about how to change the ability of your Pokemon in the game. Now, unfortunately, it is going to take a while. I'm going to tell you that now. And if you want to change it to the hidden ability, then it's going to take even longer. First things, you need to complete the game. You need to have gone through and defeated the Elite Four and the Champion. You then need to go to Snowpoint City, go south of that, and our boat will take you to the fight area. Once you are here, you will need to collect an amount of battle points in the battle tower. Now, depending on what you want to do, will depend on what, um, how many you have to collect. So let's say that you just want to change to another standard ability. So let's say the Pokemon has three abilities, you want to change it to one of their other standard abilities. So we can go here, we can go... Uh, and buy an ability capsule which will change uh, between two abilities uh, on there. So for example, with Graveler, I think it has uh, Sturdy and another ability that are common, and it would switch between those two. So that's 50 battle points. Now the other one, if you want to turn it to the hidden ability, you do need the ability patch, and that's 200 battle points. So that's going to take a long time to grind up there. What I would definitely recommend, especially if you're watching this later, um, I would recommend breeding Pokemon. Now, I'm going to have to look at um, the Poker Radar. I'm pretty sure you can get hidden abilities through there. And I imagine through the Underground, you're potentially going to be able to get some hidden abilities there. I don't know if that's verified yet. I don't know if that is true. That's just what I'm thinking. Uh, Poker Radar, I'm pretty sure you can get hidden abilities. And Underground, I feel like you should be able to, but don't challenge me on that if that's wrong. Uh, I am recording this the day after release. I haven't done... Uh, months and months and months of research um but if you have got to a point where um pokemon home is integrated with pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl at the minute it is not but you will then be able to bring over pokemon you'll be able to use the gts and a lot of people will be using like the um hidden ability pokemon uh, a lot of the like level one um kind of leftovers on the gts so you can definitely use those i don't use the gts anymore but you know what i mean but that is essentially how you can change the abilities of your Pokemon. You can't just change them just by going to someone and just paying some money. You do have to get the battle points. Um, you can obviously breed them so that you can, you can get different abilities. Um, but there is more of a chance of them inheriting the same ability. Um, it does require a, a lot of effort. But to get a competitive Pokemon, once you've got them, you've got them for good. And it will help out a great deal. And you get to practice your, um, your competitive battling anyway. So it can be really, really helpful. Anyways, I am going to end this video off here, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.